here's the thing. I have been searching for a new safe place to live. The place where I've lived before, a road was suddenly built between the pond and the sandy place where I lay my eggs. So I can't stay there anymore. The name of the show is uh, Turtle's New Home. It's a story about a wetland habitat and the animals that need it. Look, there's a nice brook. There's always lots of food in the brook. Little tadpoles or pollywogs, crayfish, bugs, flies, spiders, lots of insects. This could be just the place. But no, it isn't just right because there's water, but it's not enough water. I need more like a pond. So I guess I'll just have to keep going. Did you say pond? Yeah, pond. Really, you can make a pond? Well, I can make a dam and then the pond just happens. Oh. This one's heavier. I have to drag this one. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Pack it down. It's teaching about animals that live in the area, and it's helping children to care about those animals. I don't like dry. You know why? Why? because it's too dry. Oh, see, I breathe partly through my skin, and if my skin dries out, I can't breathe very well. I don't like that. Oh. It was very important to me that I could also use these puppets as teaching tools to show exactly what a beaver looks like, what a salamander looks like. Salamanders have two little holes at the base of their tail. If they are attacked by something, another way they can keep themselves safe, they can squirt something really stinky out of those holes. Right, would you want to eat something that squirted something really stinky into your face? No, you wouldn't. You can recognize that this is a Blanding's turtle because it is bright yellow. Bright yellow. Do you see how yellow that is under the chin? I feel that it's very important for children to care about nature, to feel comfortable with it, and the best way to care about anything is to learn about it. Something has been chewing on these sticks. I didn't do it. <laughs> I know you didn't do it. I think these sticks were chewed by a beaver. A beaver! I want to see the beaver! Where is it? I want to see the beaver! Shh! You have to be quiet or you'll scare the animals. I'm not being scary, but just our voices are scary for the animals. The little boy Edward in the story learns that if he wants to see the beaver, he has to slow down and he has to take time and he has to be quiet, which he does do. So he does get to see the beaver. So the turtle has been counting down each baby turtle as it arrives at the new pond. Into the water. <laughs> so that makes one. That makes one. Now another one. Yep, here comes another one. Here comes two. In you go, baby. In you go. So. That makes two, that makes two. Another one, three, oh, three. In you go, baby. In you go, baby. In you go, baby. In you go, baby. <laughs> that makes three. Then the last one hasn't arrived. And the children in the story, the boy is thinking about making that be his pet. The children in the audience 
are thinking, no, no, you've got to leave the baby turtle alone. Yeah, it probably. needs to be with its mother. It did. Do you think it's going to find its mother in there? Probably. Let's just watch. Baby. Oh. Did you see that, Rachel? The baby found its mother. So that's the kind of understanding and concern that I want to help foster.